hello and welcome in another guys full guys for achievement that leads to family exorcism exorcist and this time around i'll show you how to do unholy undead defeat nine master tamers in the shadowlands blah 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 with 25 level undead pets i did them all i'm not gonna show you them all because Glitter dust is a little beep, beep. Yeah, seriously. I I could do it. I did it. But I would give you RNG fiesta mixed up with some alcohol, heroin and thrown in the volcano. I I I don't know what to say, but it's 3 a.m. But it's just so bad. You can do it, but it's frustrating, so why the hell you bother with it? Leave it. If it's frustrating, leave it. We don't need them all, like we didn't do entire aquatic in, in Night Fae, I mean the Arden Wheel, so why, why bother? Besides that, Rotgut was pain and so much RNG involved here. For some weird reason, I'm actually going to report this bug. I'm not sure if it's bug, but I did almost them all, right? Only humanoids left. And for some reason, beasts almost always stun undead. Like the, the, the headbutt ability or whatever. I always stun. I get stunned chainly. Like, I get stunned, then two rounds cooldown, and I get stunned again. And over and over, my pets got stunned by beasts. Not sure what the hell it is, but it is. Beasts get stunned too much. Uh, undead. So that's, that was really... Fighting against beasts was problematic for me because there was too many stuns. I... I was frustrated and angry because it never happened. I never had so much... Ugh. When I did Pharaoh, because as you know, you can get sleep at the start. I had to restart fight 11 times to get try without sleep at the start. It's, it's ridiculous. So this time around, it was difficult, but it wasn't that bad. I did enjoy some of them. Uh, Let's see, what pets did I use? A uh, Micromancer is, is a new pet, dropped from uh, Supplies of Undying Army. It costs almost nothing now. Light Breath was one of the ones I used against beasts, because undeads, surprise, surprise, have no abilities against beasts. Like, no. Everything is against humanoids, mostly. Blighted Squirrel is a invisible MVP. Blighthawk is also nice. Uh, I used Bone Shard. I, I never believed I'm gonna use this pet, but I use it. And it was nice. I like it. I like this pet. Captain Nibs is a monster against uh, critters. Um, Drowned Hatchling. Fragments. Fragments are awesome. Black Temple did well. Ghastly Kid. That's about it. The The... the the variation of it was really, really small. Putrid Geist actually was useful as well. If you don't have it, better get it now before price goes up. There is not many interesting pets you can use against uh, beasts. I have many, as you can see, there is no nothing, nothing very, very useful. I didn't use obviously pets from. From achievements, don't worry. Or I didn't use pets hard to obtain. If yes, then I apologize. I didn't notice, but I sh it should be fine, really. So yeah, the pets, pets, uh, it was okay, I guess. It wasn't the most fun I had, but it was okay. Some fights I actually enjoy it. Uh, the shenanig shenanigans you can do, but mostly. Eh. Only humanoids left, so we'll see how, how it goes. Probably gonna have to put myself a challenge 
to defeat Rod God with three undeads, uh, with three humanoids against three undeads. It might be tricky, it might be painful. Because as far I notice in the inter on the internet, people say, I do not recommend this fight with humanoids. Yeah. It's like using critters against Igor. Haven't done it because didn't want to. But I might actually go for Rodgut because I hate him since the beginning. Yeah. Uh, so without glitter dust, I recorded them all. You can see them. Uh, as always, time timestamps so you can jump between if if you need specific pet. You don't have to like check where it is. You can just click it. It's, uh, 60 FPS, so I fixed at least that. Besides what? What else? After this, I'm gonna record some, I don't know, maybe Pet Dungeon. PTR starts very soon. I might jump there and see what pets we're gonna face in the new zone. Uh, yeah, I might actually do it, so we'll see, we'll see. I hope uh, there won't be any problems. I might actually figure out tactics. Uh, might actually work on the tactic. Not sure if it's a good idea because the PTR tactics are messy, can not work and, and stuff. But I promise you, in the first week of patch, I'll try recorded all pet battles that it actually they added. I'll try it. Um, I promise I'll try my best. Uh, as always, if you like it, subscribe. It it helps me. It will help me a lot. If not, don't subscribe if you don't like it. Don't dislike it if you like it. Like it. If you don't want to judge it, don't judge it. And have fun. I hope I did my best, and I hope you actually notice. You actually find it useful. So, enjoy the video, good luck with the achievement, good luck with PES, do not throw your computer out of your window when you face some heavy RNG. Yeah, okay, take care, and go do some achievements! Yeah. Tanya. Quite easy. I was actually surprised how easy it is, but I choose Fragment of Anger with Spirit Firebolt, Spirit Fire Beam, Soul Rush, Fragment of Desire with Arcane Blast, Soul Ward, Soul Rush, and Blight Breath with Slime, Toxic Smoke, and Bash. For Tenga, 99% of the time I use only two pets in any kind of ba battle. Okay, we start with Spirit Fire Beam. I like it. And Spirit Fire Bolt. It's still faster. Oh, that's mean. Now we're gonna be swapped with Blight Breath. Okay, I'll just apply the dot. Yeah, depends on your uh, depends on your breeds. You'll have different results in different pets. I mean, this fight is so so easy. I I just don't even bother with it. Tactic is one: kill it with those three pets. Two pets target uh, easily target the uh, flying pets. I have dot, so soul ward is actually useless. Oh yeah, most likely I'll just spam arcane blast and, and kill it. Maybe stun? Nope. Whatever. And just kill it. Those pets die so quickly. It's, it's amazing.
Okay, let's bring light breath. Depends on your breeds. That pet uh, lowest, I think the lowest HP will. Uh, wrong. Highest HP. Highest? I don't remember. Will be swapped. Depends on your breed. So, whatever you have should be fine. Fragments deal extremely well with uh, flying pets. And Blight Breath has Toxic Smoke. There is uh, not many abilities against against beasts, so let's just stun it. Uh, yeah, fighting with beasts uh, against beasts with uh, undead is, is kind of meh. Scylla is always gonna be easy. For Scylla, I use Spine Bug with Tail Slap and Squeeze, Fragment of Desire with Spirit Fire Bolt, because Arcane Blast is too slow. Uh, too slow. It's, it's supposed to be better, but it's just not. Yeah, it's just not really. But let's go. Let's try it, Arcane Blast. I'll show you why. I mean, I figure out the tactic for Scylla, she was the first, I, I wrote it down, but sometimes you can correct stuff. Okay, Fragment of Desire with Arcane Blast, Soul Ward, Soul Rush, and Captain Nibs with Smash, Roar, and Barrel Toes. That's a good title for a song. Smash, Roar, Roar and Bar Barrel Toes. Yeah. Okay, we start with Squeeze. We're fast, it's important as always. Your first pet needs to be faster than Ash. He's tw uh, 260. It's not hard to get it, but it's important to actually be faster because this crit never happened. Never happened. This never happened. You're gonna actually kill me. Yeah, still. Lovely. Usually, what scenario uh, uh, pops is Spine Bug dies. And Ash is on like piece of piece of life, so I just bring fragment of desire and finish him off. Arcane blast. No, actually, arcane blast against flying is better. Okay, so bolt wasn't that good. We're gonna use one more arcane blast. And Soul Rush. Ugh. And Soul Ward supposed to work on the new pet. Oh, okay. Soul Ward was dumb. Okay, so we start with Smash. Oh god. Yeah, so what happens here is smash, we use barrel toss. So you put the fill fill the barrel because it doesn't have a problem when it's blind. And finish him off with barrel toss. Done. This fight is super easy. Scylla is never a problem. For Mr. Dundley. I'm using Infected Squirrel with Stampede, Rabbit Strike and Consume, Ghastly Rat with Flurry, Swarm of Flies, Crouch, Ghastly Kid with Hoof, Terrell, Ghostly Bite. Unwarily, I just use Stampede. Three times should kill him, and then we have one undead face. But it takes time. That's Dandy was always slow. Uh, 
And on face, we cannot kill him. We use consume just to heal a little bit. Because we need that life, okay? We need it. Because we're gonna put damage increased on the target. Okay, so a rabbit strike. Because we don't have black claw. And stampede. Gonna die now. Unless we heal. Yeah. We use heal. Just to heal a bit more. And obviously on Trailblazer we use Stampede. I mean heal buffed. I mean it was buffed, so I forgot that part. But if you can just heal a little bit so you can do something here. Sadly, we didn't do much. Use Crouch, because damage reduction helps. Oh, he missed. That's even better. Next, Swarm of Flies. Hope the damage train starts, and Flurry. Yeah, if if uh, infer infected squirrel would die faster, he would get swarm of flies applied and do much more damage, yada yada. But no, flurry. And just flurry. He should. Yeah, doesn't matter. That doesn't matter really. We cannot do much anyway. Try to crouch. Also doesn't matter. Because we use Flurry and kill him. And that's the real good scenario. We kill him with two, we kill them all with two pets and just bring a goat for the finisher, which is a turtle. That's it. It's a, a ghost, uh, I mean, Ghostly Kid is a backup. That's it. So you, su you should finish. Uh, three pets with two pets only, with your two pets. But if not, you have always a backup. For Stratios, I use Drowned Hatchling with Quills, Reckless Strike, Liftoff, Blight Breath with Slime, Toxic Smoke and Bash, and Fragment of Desire with Arcane Blast. Hmm. Yeah, with Arcane Blast, I just bend, I believe it more. Uh, soul Ward, Soul Rush. I prefer consistent damage over RNG Fiesta. It always strikes back. We start with Liftoff. Okay, this crit never happened, right? When it doesn't happen, we go for Quills, then Reckless Strike, yada yada. But because he's dead already, we go for Reckless Strike. I take more damage now, no! And Quills. Stun, of course it's stun, duh. Ugh, whatever. Just go for Reckless Strike whenever you can. I mean, it's just... Reduce some damage, I mean, take, put some damage into him, so Blight Breath doesn't need to, like, struggle. Blight Breath should be two hits. Toxic Smoke? And Slime. But of course... It is what it is, obviously. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I noticed that RNG like crits from uh, stuns from those from those pets happens more often, much more often on undeads for some reason. Okay, Solwart, in case he actually gonna do the Moonfire. Yep. And just spam Arcane Blast. When Resilient is off, we can use Sol... Ah, whatever. Sol Rush is not for stun, just for damage. So yeah, when Glitterwing comes in, he's piss easy. He's actually bonus pet here to defeat. But the struggle, the tiny hoof is a problem. In every encounter, when I play undead pets, the beast ones are problematic. Ugh, goddamn beast. For Farrell, I use every fragment. Fragment of anger with. Spirit Fire Bolt, Beam, and Soul Rush. Fragment of Suffering with Spirit Fire Bolt and Rain Power. And Fragment of Desire with Arcane Blast, Soul Ward, Soul Rush. Should I use them differently? No, no, no. Yeah. Silly me. Because we want to have Spirit Fire Beam on the first one. If you get put to sleep, you might restart. Depends on RNG. Spirit Fire Bolt. Yeah, look, the difference is like 300 gap between. So if you get hit, if you hit him for lowest, it's bad. Okay, I use Spirit Fire Bolt and Spirit Fire Bolt again. And now I use Soul Rush. And Spirit Fire Beam, because we want to hit always two pets. Of three. And Spirit Fire Bolt. Fragment of Suffering comes in, we use Drain Power. And Spirit Fire Bolt. Yep. And just Spirit Firebolt him. We should actually swap to the Fragment of Desire. But we're not gonna do it. Since we're in good shape. Just spam Spirit Firebolt, he'll die. This fight, when I did it, I was like, really? It was that easy? Yeah, it was that easy. Now you just need to survive. So Soul Rush. Yeah, some RNG. But usual scenario, when you come for the first, uh, third one, which is bright you use soul ward. i i tend to swap for soul ward so you block the big crit damage but since we had fragment of suffering really healthy i just let him stay there and kill it i mean take hit but soul ward def uh, blocking it nicely then we soul rush and arcane blast soul rush never stun here for some reason so yeah it's fight is quite easy For Adios the Tormentor, I found easy tactic, which is classical for one target. Unborn Valkyr with Curse of Doom and Haunt. Infected Squirrel with Stampede, Rabbit Strike and perhaps corp Corpse Explosion. And Micromancer as a backup with Raise Dead. 
Haunting Song and Dead, Man, Dead Man's Party. I never use Micromancer, so he's just to fill the spot. Easy fight. We start with Curse of Doom. Next we choose Mind Game, which is slot number 3. And Haunt. Uh, this fight might be tricky when he crits, but you still should kill him. Squirrel comes in, we use Rabbit Strike to increase damage on the target. And Stampede, and that should be it. Kapow! You should heal now a little bit. Yep. And final stampede. Done. I like those easy fights. Caregiver Maximilian. I don't understand one thing. Whenever I work on tactic. It's fine. It's it works great. I write it down, everything perfect. When I start record it, everything collapse. Uh I guess that's my luck. RNG Fiesta. Okay, for this gentleman I use Blight Hawk Hawk. Specific, specific with this uh breed, which is health power. But you can go for speed speed if you're lucky or speed health it works nice too. Something like that. But this bre uh, health is required my in my way. If you go my way, which means you're gonna get hit for for 800 right away. So if your speed is not 226, you need HP. You need Blight Hawk to be on uh, 1500 or 1500 HP. Uh, okay, Blight Hawk with Infected Claw, Ghostly Bite, Lift Off. Micromancer with Dead Man's Party, Rise Ally, Deep Research, and Fragment of Desire with Arcane Blast, Soul Ward, Soul Rash. This tactic is nice, I like it, but Bone Crusher tends to stun me and breaks. I mean, not. He, he crit me for like entire life. Seriously, he crit me for 1400. Every time, like three times in a row, it he crit me and I couldn't finish the tactic. So he's an he's a douchebag. Okay, let's focus. Start with infected claw. If it hits too low, because the gap is massive, we're gonna have rough time. But it didn't. Now lift off. If it hits for six hundred plus, it's great. If he hits for three hundred. 75, it's poor. After liftoff, we go for infected, infected claw. Oh! Yay, Christmas! But, yeah, this scenario would work as well. If I hit enough from infected claw, then I would stay at 2 HP. So no matter what I do, I die now. So I go for infected claw. If I get stunned, and I didn't, then if I get stunned, then I can cry. If not, I go for ghostly bite, because I'm not going to, I'm going to get stunned, but I'm dead anyway. So Micromancer is, is okay. His job is okay. So we go for raise ally. And deep research. I know weather makes crits often, but I cannot change it. Raise ally again. Oh, stun is something that I did not expect. Yeah, I mean... <sighs> what am I kidding? 
Let's go for Dead Man's Party. It's either crit or it's stun. Okay, we should just soul rush him. Fine. So Micromancer can die, but the tactic goes like this. Raise ally, shield, raise ally, dead man's party. So those mages start shoot him when he's debuffed. Okay, now we go for King Blast. And most important thing is now Soul Ward. And from this point, it's just done. Spam Arcane Blast until Soul Rush appear. And finish him off. Finish him. Kapow. Yeah, so Bone Crusher as always. As always, Bone Crusher is a happy guy to make my life fun. Ursula, I decided to go with Fragment of Anger with C Seth, Enrage and Spirit Spikes. Detective Ray with School Toss, Immolation, and Flame Jet. Yeah, not that I have other choices. And third one was Micromancer with Dead Man's Party, Ray's Dead, and Haunting Song. Third one is a backup. So we raise death a little bit and, and just finish them off. Okay, we start with Spirit Spikes. Now Enrage and Seif, Seif, Seth. Yeah, that's how it works. He might heal. He gonna heal for sure. So we need Enrage. No, he did not heal. Um, and Seth again. And rage. Safe feet. Yeah, it doesn't do that much anymore, right? And spirit spikes. After two abilities, we use spirit spikes just to reflect some damage. Just something. It's all about dealing at least something. So it's end up faster. Okay, Detective Ray comes in, and we use Flame Jet, because he doesn't have a shield, and we can use that. Didn't Ignite, so School Toss, sadly, and Immolation. I mean, kind of risk there, but I, I don't know what I expected. So, Immolation start at the start, to be honest, and then School Toss, whatever. Doesn't matter, look how easy it is. Now we're just gonna throw any ability we can, which is Flame Jet. Whenever we can, we use Flame Jet whenever we can. Ooh, ooh, he hits me. And School Toss, because Immolation just stands all the time. He might just kaboom. No, he did not yet. Fight is easy, right? Kapow! Done! Ah, 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 Igor! On Igor, I use Bone Shard. Wait, is he from. Yeah. Good. Lord Marogar and Ice Crown sit up. Easy. Bone Shard with top. Blistering Cold and Bone Storm, I guess, to fill the spot. Next is Infected Squirrel with Stampede, Rabbit Strike, and Corpse Explosion. And at the end, Putrid Gay, Geist with Infected Claw, Creeping Fungus, and Cold Darkness. 
Uh, Portrait Geist is from Shadowlands event. Auction house should be full of them, so you should not have problems to obtain it. Okay, we start with blistering cold because it has long cooldown. No, it doesn't have long cooldown, but it does more, more, most damage. Okay, and top, 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 top. We just use chop again. And chop again. I always wanted to use bone storm, but it's so ineffective. Okay, and now we use blister and cold again. I wish to have top as well on it, but blistering cold does damage much better. Because now we're gonna use rabbit strike and blistering cold gonna hurt and stampede. Yeah, we're gonna kill ourselves with it, but it doesn't matter. This matters. Dot dot. Oh, I crit myself. Now we use on the rock of rabbit strike. However, yeah, it should be stampede, but doesn't matter. Uh, creeping fungus. One infected claw. And call darkness. If Rabbit Strike will kill you, just swap with Rabbit Strike to uh, Stampede. Doesn't matter. One of both gives the same benefits, like 50% more damage taken, and that's what we want. Rodgard is a painful little ass. I did many many variants of this fight and then I realized my microphone wasn't plugged perfectly so yeah I have to record it again hooray it's almost 3 a.m. luckily it's it's yeah so my setup for this fight that works is this setup infected squirrel with stampede whatever, and consume. Ghastly Kid with Hoof, Eternal Ghostly Bite, and Restless Shading with Arcane Blast and Face Shift. Instead, Infected... I did different setup, like Infected Phone, and then Infected Squirrel, Infected Phone with Adrenaline Rush, Flurry, and Death and Decay. So I was us used once Flurry, uh, Adrenaline Rush, then Flurry three times, and death and decay when the first pet was uh, in the undead phase with the second uh, dead phase. And then on the pet that comes next one and causes you to take the curse of doom, I used uh, flurry and died. And then stampede. And it worked, okay? Most of the time. I used stitch popped as well for this as a used squirrel stitch popped and then squirrel again it worked as well i used two squirrels blighted and infected and then ghastly kit at the end it worked as well but it's not always this variant i show you here worked mostly this fight is rng yeah there's a lot of rng you'll see in a second so i start with stampede 
Three. Oh, that crit. That crit might actually cause us to lose. Who knows? We'll see. So yeah, you just can get crit and stuff. Another crit. Perfect. What I really, really need is to this pet survive. But it won't. It won't survive till next fight. So all I can do is just reset because it's pointless to try now. So if your pet, this pet, won't survive till next one, reset right away. You need to take Curse of Doom. You need to take Curse of Doom on your face. You just need to. So we start again with Stampede. Miss. One miss make this fight much easier. Okay, and and yeah. We're missing some damage, but we're using consume. And we heal for three hundred almost. So that helps. And now we pass. We need to survive. Oh my god, that... Yeah, barely. So, breed for this is health and power. Take health and power breeds and, and you're fine. Okay, we're gonna die here, so we have only two turns of Stampede. Which means Ghastly Kid has some heavy lifting to do. RNG. It's just so much RNG. But it's okay, he took some damage, so that's already something. Ghastly Kid need to hit Hoof twice, and we're fine. If he's gonna have to do three or four, yeah, restart. So hoof. Because we wanna have 700 HP. We need to have 700 on next bet. Great. Now we use the turtle. Why the number is important? Because we need it. We need the survive turn of uh, psionic storm. Oh, 300. Low. We need to survive this. Take another one and then another one. And here is a number you can. This hits 420 and this is lottery. What should I do? Goes for steady damage or lottery? If I go for steady damage, then I'm gonna need to use two arcane blasts on this one. If I risk and go for hoof, I might just take one and it's done. It's not that easy with undeads because they're still alive when they die. Ugh. So I'm going for stay, uh, steady damage because this can go even worse. This can hit for 279, despite being against Undead. Why? I don't know why. <sighs> Seriously, I just don't know why. So, I'm going for ghost Ghostly Bite. Now, Restless shading, Shading comes in, we use Face Shift, which is brilliant if we're faster than our opponent, because we have dodge on two turns. And now our game last. Never believe in Chris. Just don't. We pass, he's gonna use Psionic Storm and kill us. So we're like dead, but he's dead dead. So we survive, we win. That's the undead suffering of crits, RNG and crap. Undead pets are really bad to fight undeads. But that's it. I hope you like it. I hope you found it useful. I hope you got the achievement. I hope you like me a little bit. And if yes, don't bother with likes, dislikes, but if you didn't, subscribe. I mean, if you like, it's it's nice, but it it doesn't do much. Subscribe, 
watch my videos. This way you're gonna help me reach my goal, getting money from ads. But if you don't, I'm not gonna cry, it's up to you. I'm here for you. If there is any suggestion, if the tactics I show you have flaws, Say it in the comments. Um, I read them and I reply to all of them. Because at the moment there is not that many of them, so I can. So yeah, use use your power of free speech. Speech. It's almost 3 a.m. So for, uh, forgive me. Thank you for watching. You're awesome. Till the next video. Bye bye.